Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 45. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at our spark timing basics, understanding how spark timing fits in within the auto cycle and our combustion process so we can move forward into learning how to actually tune and set up and configure our spark timing tables and dial in our spark timing. So we're going to be looking at the fundamentals in this tutorial. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with the basics and fundamentals of spark timing understanding how spark timing relates within our combustion chamber and within our auto cycle. We need to be able to program our spark timing properly so that we're reaching what's known as maximum brake torque or getting close to it. So we have the optimized performance out of our engine, we have good horsepower and torque production, and we're avoiding knock or pre-ignition. That can actually damage our engine. So let's jump in here and take a look. Now I'm in my spark tab right here and I have a calibration file open. You can open up your calibration file to take a look and follow along. Now we're going to be in our base ignition angle table here as the starting point for the tutorial. This is where we command the spark timing to happen at within the auto cycle. And specifically, if we're looking at our values in the table, we have values here of 30 degrees, 12 degrees, depending on again where we're looking at in the table here. These are going to be degrees before top dead center on our compression stroke. So we have our intake stroke, we have our compression stroke, we have our power stroke, and we have our exhaust stroke. What we're finding is that if we have a value of 35 degrees here, we're commanding the spark plug to fire off 35 degrees before top dead center on our compression stroke. And we're essentially trying to initiate our combustion. Now, at this point within the compression stroke, the fuel and air mixture have already been ingested into the engine on the intake stroke, and we're compressing down that fuel and air mixture into the cylinder, and then we fire it off, firing our spark plug here at 35 degrees. The goal is to have the flame front reach the piston and rod assembly as it's traveling downwards on the power stroke and specifically a rate around 15 to 20 degrees after top dead center. That's where we want that peak pressure to get pushed down on the piston and rod assembly. And that's actually gonna give us the best mechanical advantage to spin the crankshaft to generate more horsepower and torque production out of our engine. So if we're not timing the point where we wanna fire off our spark plug, we're not going to have that flame front and that peak pressure hit the piston and rod as it's pushing downwards on that power stroke to give us the greatest mechanical output out of the engine. We'll find that, let's say our value is too low. It's not 35 degrees here, let's say it's 25 degrees. We're gonna find that that peak pressure is going to happen um, much later within that power stroke and we're not going to have as much mechanical advantage of the piston and rod pushing against the crank. And if we fire the spark plug off sooner, let's say 45 degrees, that'll initiate that flame front and that combustion to actually happen sooner. And we'll actually have that peak pressure starting to push down on the piston rod, let's say at something like five or 10 degrees after top dead center on that power stroke as the piston switches its position going downwards on the power stroke. And that's not going to line up the piston and rod to give the greatest mechanical advantage. So we wanna be at that sweet spot for our spark timing. And there's usually about a four to five degree window where we're getting into that sweet spot, where we're getting the piston and rod to have that peak pressure pushed down on our power stroke. And that's known as our maximum brake torque, MBT. So maximum brake torque timing is that the timing we're searching for in our spark timing table here to have that optimized point to get the best power production out of our engine and also avoid knock or pre-ignition. Now, as we're talking about this, we oftentimes find that we're octane limited. So the fuel that we're using isn't going to be a super high octane fuel. It's not going to be ethanol or race gas. If we're on pump gas, petrol fuel, 91, 93 octane, we have to be mindful of the values that we program in here because it's very easy to actually have knock or pre-ignition occur before we even reach maximum brake torque. So we have to be careful of what we're programming here. Now, also taking a look at our values in our table here, you're going to probably be noticing a trend. If we're taking a look at our left axis of the table, this is engine speed. The top axis is going to be a map pressure. What we're noticing here is that the spark timing values from idle here, so this is going to be our idle area, they're roughly 13 to 15 degrees. As we're getting up here to something like 35 to 4,000, notice the spark timing values are here between 30 to 35 degrees. So the spark timing is ascending or increasing, or also known as advancing, as we're going up at engine speed. Now, as we're going up, or in this case, in our manifold pressure, if we're taking a look at our top axes, and we're going from, let's say, 17 
inches of vacuum here. That's roughly 35 degrees of spark timing. And we go all the way over here to something like 11 pounds of boost. We're seeing the spark timing goes from 35 degrees up here to approximately 14 degrees of timing. That's a pretty large difference in spark timing. That's a Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.